Hi there, I'm Senator Molly Baumgartner, and I appreciate this opportunity to touch base with you about some of the things that have been happening just these first three weeks since the um, House and the Senate have opened for the legislative session. Um, two weeks ago, we had um, the governor's state of the state address, and one of the things that I liked most about his address was the way in which he talked about the changes that really are necessary in education for our state. Now, for years, for more than a dozen years, I've heard legislators and educators and taxpayers talk about, discuss, and share their concerns about what was going on with funding for our K-12 through education. And we have a very complicated formula that, quite honestly, there are not people um, in the Senate or on the House side that could easily explain that funding formula to you. And what our governor did present in his State of the State address is that we as a state need to take a time out, we need to pause, and we need to absolutely scrap that formula. It's not been working. It's been almost virtually impossible for us to have appropriate balance for school districts that are rural, that are small, that have um, very strong enrollment growth and those that are having enrollment drops. And so his proposal is that we stop using what we currently have as far as a for funding formula that school districts receive block grants or block funding which is identical to the funding they're receiving this year, um, and that the legislature go about the business of building and crafting a funding formula that provides equity and also assures the taxpayers that the money that they're spending on education in the state of Kansas is actually getting to the classroom. I think that all of us can agree that what we want is to have kids that when they graduate from high school, they are able to enter the workforce, go to a community college, a four-year institution, or a technical school, or enter the military without having any gaps in their education. Now, one of, one of the committees that I have been assigned to this legislative session is the Education Committee. And from the very first day of our committee meetings, we have been busy addressing um, pieces of legislation that have been proposed. Um, three pieces of legislation I want you to be aware of. Uh, Senate Bill 2 is a piece of legislation whereby school districts can actually offer teachers that have been teaching in the district for a period of time two-year and three-year contracts. And I think that that is, is an has the potential of being quite ideal for smaller school districts being able to retain those teachers that they have oftentimes had difficulty filling their particular positions. Uh, two other bills that we're looking at, Senate Bill 32 and 33, have to do with a requirement that every school district in the state have to do an annual audit of how exactly how they are spending their money and, and that audit has to be turned into the state. So I think that's important. Um, the other bill is for a committee to be formed to really set the requirements for how do we evaluate, first of all, what are the rose standards and how do we evaluate those rose standards? Because again, what I have heard from taxpayers, what I've heard from voters, um, from teachers, from educators and administrators, is that the money being spent, they want a sense of accountability and they want to be able to show um, that the students are performing at the levels that we expect of them. There are two pieces of legislation that I have actually sponsored so far. Um, that one uh, piece of legislation that I'm a co-sponsor for is Senate Bill 45, and that piece of legislation is simply the open carry, so that is a Second Amendment piece of legislation, and I believe that that is going to be um, discussed and there will be hearings um, in the Judiciary Committee coming up within the next few weeks. So that's something that I've heard from a lot of you via email and so if you have questions or concerns please let me know about that. The other piece of legislation that it hasn't been assigned a Senate bill number yet but it, it is an abortion piece of legislation and it, that is that we will eliminate um, the, the abortion that is 
being performed in, on women that are in their second trimester. It is considered an extraction abortion. And what most people don't realize is that particular type of abortion is performed roughly 11 times every week. So more than 700 infants in that second trimester are being aborted in this manner. And so that is a piece of legislation that, that I was happy to say that yes, um, I was going to support um, in its introduction. So again, these are just several of the pieces of legislation that I've already gotten to work on. If you have any questions about any pieces of legislation that have been offered, if you have any concerns about what's happening in your particular area, at your school, um, in your community, please give me a call or send me an email and my office will address your concern and we'll, we'll do whatever research or provide whatever assistance we can. Thank you so much for listening.